I'm sure a lot of you who do video in Linux have probably noticed that the uh, new Canelite build is out. It's not much different, but I wanted to go over and just show off the few little changes I think are uh, pretty important to me and possibly, hopefully, important to you too. Here's what I've been playing. Stars this is the new build of Caden Live 8.8.2. Pretty slick so far. Got full props, proxy functions working. The timeline is a little snappier than it was before. I know there's a few bugs in this build, but I have hit very few of them so far. But it's getting really, really sophisticated. They now added full LADSPA audio support, which is good, unless you have a shit ton of plugins like I do. I can't actually get to all my plugins. <laughs> One of my favorite functions besides the built-in proxy, which I'll get to that in a minute, is the ability to um, compress archive or project. You can, all your video clips, all your proxy clips, you can compress use a GZ file, which is really nice. It's very sophisticated. This allows me to work on a project on my machine and then take it to a friend's house and add to it and whatnot and go back and forth. Just put the whole project on like a thumb drive if it's small enough, which is really, really groovy. Um, by default, the proxies kind of leaves a little to be desired. The default setting on the proxy, which I went ahead and I built some new ones here. This is um, normal MPEG, converts it to... Uh, 150 kilobyte mpeg2 at 480 uh, by 270 that's terrible what i've built here is i built myself a, a dnx hd version for my hd footage and an mjpeg version i'd like to use dnx hd but like for example when i edit this uh the screen capture into my video it loses um it's not able to compa it's not compatible the resolution is not compatible with dnx hd but mjpeg is fairly uh, loose on its compatibility. The only downside is the color is bad and, uh, well, artifacts. But as long as you can get around that, you know, by switching off the proxy and looking at the original, you should be all right. So that, that's that's what I've done to make it better. Um, other than that, you know, it's pretty much the same program we know and love, and uh, it's, it's getting a lot better. I look forward to the next release, but I'm also having a lot of fun using this one. All right, that's all for this week. I'm really busy. Again, I'm always making excuses for being busy, but who doesn't? How many of you guys uh, use Kane Live versus like OpenShot? Or some of you probably don't do video at all, but those who do, you know, 